Python is one of the easiest and most powerful programming languages out there. Whether you wanna build websites, automate tasks, or dive into artificial intelligence, Python is a great choice to start. Welcome, are you ready to dive into Python programming? In this guide, I will walk you through each step to set up your Python development environment. You will install Python, set up Visual Studio Code, and run your first Python program. Let's get started. The first step is install Python via Microsoft Store. There are multiple ways to install Python, but for beginners, I highly recommend using the Microsoft Store. It's simple, keeps your installation up to date, and doesn't require admin access. To do this, click on the Windows Start menu, type Microsoft Store, and hit Enter. Then search for Python. In the search bar of the Microsoft Store, type Python. You will see several versions, but choose the latest one unless you're working with a, a specific version for a project. After choosing the version, click on Gate to install it. And then, once it's done installing, open PowerShell, click the Start menu again, search for PowerShell, and hit Enter. Finally, type Python space dash dash version to check the version of the currently installed Python. This will confirm that Python was installed successfully and show you the version number. Check if pip is installed. Pip is Python's package manager that used to install Python's package or libraries to support your Python's project. To check if it is installed, type pip space dash dash version. You should also see a version number, which means you're ready to install additional packages or libraries later. Why the Microsoft Store? It is simple, free, and takes care of updates automatically. This is a great for beginners. In step two, run your first Python program. That's great. Now that everything is set up, and let's run a simple Python program using the PowerShell. To launch the PowerShell, open the start menu, search for PowerShell, and press enter. Now the PowerShell is launched and start the Python interpreter by typing Python and press enter. This opens the Python interactive shell and you will see this prompt. At this prompt, type print hello world and press enter. You should see hello world in the console. You can add one more example, print two plus three and press enter. You should see five in the console. Now that you have written your first Python program using the PowerShell and to terminate the Python interpreter, you can type exit or press control plus Z. In step three, install Visual Studio Code or VS Code. Next, you need a code editor to write and manage your Python programs. VS Code is a lightweight, powerful tool that's widely used by Python developers. You can download from the base code's official website and install it manually. However, I recommend installing it directly from the Microsoft Store for a simpler setup. So let's go back to the Microsoft Store and install Visual Studio Code from there. In the search bar, top right corner, type Visual Studio Code and press enter. Choose Visual Studio Code from the search results and click Install to start the installation. Once the installation is complete, open VS Code from the Start menu or search bar to launch Visual Studio Code. Now that the Visual Studio Code is launched and installed the Python extension. To enhance your Python developer experience in 
VS Code. Let's install the Python extension. Navigate to the Extensions Manager on the left sidebar and click on the Extensions icon. Open the Extensions Marketplace. If you prefer shortcuts, press Ctrl plus Shift plus X to open the Extensions Marketplace directly. Now search for Python. In the search bar at the top, type Python and press Enter. Install the official Python extensions. From the listed Python extensions, click Install on the extension published by Microsoft because this is the official one. Once installed, VS Code will provide better syntax highlighting, intersense, debugging feature, and more for Python development. Create and run a Python file in VS Code. It's a good practice to keep your Python files organized inside a dedicated project folder. To do this, open the File Explorer, navigate to the location where you want to create your project. For example, I want to create my project on desktop and navigate to the desktop and then right click and select a new folder. Name the folder, for example, Python project. Now let's open this folder in VS Code. In VS Code, click on File and Open Folder. Navigate to the Python project folder on desktop and select Open. All right, now the project folder is open. Now let's create a Python file to write our first script. In the Explorer panel, left side of VS Code, click on New File or icon. Name your first file hello.py. Make sure it has the .py extension. Then press Enter to create the file. Now the file is created in the folder you have created on desktop. Then write your first Python script. Now let's write a simple Python program and the hello.py, then print hello world in the print statement. So this is a basic Python program that prints hello world to the terminal. Now select a Python interpreter. Before running your Python script, you need to make sure that VS Code is using the correct Python interpreter. Choose the correct Python version, preferably the latest one. If you installed Python from the Microsoft Store, it should be detected automatically. Lastly, run your Python script. Once written your Python script, now let's execute your Python script and see the output. Open the integrated terminal in VS Code. Right click on the project folder and then click on integrated terminal. Type Python space your file name hello.py and press enter. Then finally, you should see the output hello world. All right, so the output is successfully out as you can see. Now you are ready to code in Python. You have just set up your Python environment, installed Visual Studio code, and written your first Python program. I hope you enjoyed in this tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching today.